our cameras caught quite a party going on last night in Harrisburg. And whenever a lot of money is being spent near the state capitol, you know even more money is at stake. Seth Kaplan joins us live with the reason this time. Seth. Alicia, quite literally at stake in this case, a big bet on gambling itself. This was the party at Federal Tap House. The reason, well, you know those Pennsylvania skill games you see at pizza shops and convenience stores? The folks behind the machines want to make sure they're here to stay. But one of the keys to our growth and our continued growth is Pennsylvania skill games. Ryan Sprankle of Sprankle's Markets in Western PA says Pennsylvania skill games have helped his family, his employees, and his community. Our charitable donations. Before, we, you know, we low margin business, so it was tough for us to give a lot to people that needed it. He says they've tripled their charitable donations since getting the machines. So it's not to like? Plenty, says State Senator Tommy Tomlinson of Bucks County. Uh, they've been running an illegal operation for years. And now to say, OK, forgive me, well, we want to be legal, I think is hypocritical. It's almost an insult. Tomlinson is talking about a proposal by another Republican state senator, Gene Yaw of Williamsport. I want to make sure that there is accountability for these legal skill games along with guess what ample taxes how ample an unfinalized draft we saw of the plan suggests a tax rate of 16 percent similar to table games but much less than the 54 percent tax on slots the pa lottery tells us the skill machines have siphoned 500 million dollars in sales and thus lots of services for pa seniors Penn National Gaming tells us Senator Yaw's proposal would, quote, reward bad actors. Senator Tomlinson says putting the machines in place before a law isn't the right way to do things. You spend time convincing people. You work with Democrats, Republicans. Yeah, you spend time and you spend money on events like the one last night. Alicia, we're told more than 100 people from lawmakers to NFL players were on the guest list. A little look behind the curtain there, Seth. Thank you very much. <laughs>